Questions include basic food safety, personal hygiene, cross contamination, and allergens, time and temperature, and cleaning and sanitation. Question one: What should food service operators do to prevent customer illness from Shigella? A. Cook food to minimum internal temperatures. B. Exclude food handlers diagnosed. With jaundice, C. Purchase selfish from approved suppliers. D. Control flies inside and outside the operation. Answer D. Question two, in top to bottom order, how should a fresh beef roast, fresh halibut, pepperoni? And a pan of ground chicken be stored in a cooler. A. Fresh halibut, pepperoni, ground chicken, fresh beef roast. B. Fresh halibut, fresh beef roast, ground chicken, pepperoni. C. Pepperoni, fresh beef roast, ground chicken, fresh halibut. D. Pepperoni, fresh halibut, fresh beef roast, ground chicken. Answer D. Question three: What is the maximum number of days that ready-to-eat food can be stored if held at forty-one degrees F, five degrees C? A. Seven days. B. Five days. C. Eleven days. D. Three days. Answer A. Question four: What method should never be used to thaw food? A. Cook the item. B. Microwave the item. C. Place the item in a cooler. D. Place the item on a prep counter. Answer D. Question five: How many seconds does an iodine sanitizer solution need to be in contact with the object being sanitized? A. Forty-five. B. Thirty. C. Sixty. D. Fifteen. Answer B. Question six. What must a food handler with a hand wound do to safely work with food? A. Apply iodine solution and a permeable bandage. B. Wash the wound and wear single-use glove. C. Bandage the wound and avoid contact with food for the rest of the shift. D. Bandage the wound with an impermeable cover and wear single-use glove. Answer D. Question seven: What is the purpose of setting a critical limit in the cooking process of TCS food? A. Reduce hazards to safe levels. B. Avoid serving undercooked food to high-risk customers. C. Identify potential hazards. D. Identify where hazards can be eliminated. Answer A. Question eight: Where should staff members eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum? A. Where customers eat. B. Outside the kitchen door. C. In designated areas. D. In dishwashing areas. Answer C. Question nine: Which group of individuals has a higher risk of foodborne illness? A. 
teenagers, B. Elderly people, C. Women, D. Vegetarians. Answer B. Question ten: Ciguatera toxin is commonly found in A. Pollock, B. Tuna, C. Cod, D. Amberjack. Answer D. Question eleven. What item is considered acceptable work attire for a food handler? A. False eyelashes. B. Plain band ring. C. Nail polish. D. Antimicrobial plastic watch band. Answer B. Question twelve. If a food contact surface is in constant use, how often should it be cleaned and sanitized? A. Every four hours. B. Every eight hours. C. Every six hours. D. Every two hours. Answer B. Question thirteen. Which food may be reserved to customers? A. Unopened prepackaged food. B. Uneaten bread. C. Unused, uncovered condiments. D. Unused whole fruit garnish. Answer A. Question fourteen. What temperature must be water used for heat sanitizing? B, A, one hundred and seventy six degrees F, eighty degrees C, B, one hundred and seventy one degrees F, seventy seven degrees C, C, one hundred and seventy three degrees F, seventy eight degrees C, D, one hundred and seventy nine degrees F, eighty one degrees C. Answer B. Question fifteen: What is the most likely cause of wheezing and hives? A. Norovirus. B. Food allergies. C. Shigella spp. D. Hepatitis A. Answer B. Question sixteen: What is a basic characteristic of a virus? A. Commonly found in cattle intestines. B. Requires a living host to grow. C. Grows in food. D. Destroyed by cooking. Answer B. Question seventeen. What eight ACCP principle is being practiced when food handlers rewash melons that have surface dirt? A. Critical control point. B. Critical limit. C. Corrective action. D. Monitoring. Answer C. Question eighteen: What tax requires food handlers to wash their hands before and after doing it? A. Taking out garbage. B. Handling raw meat, poultry, or seafood. C. Touching clothing or aprons. D. Using chemicals that might affect food safety. Answer B. Question nineteen: 
food that is partially cooked and then finished just before service must be heated to what temperature? A. 165 degrees F, 74 degrees C for 15 seconds. B. 135 degrees F, 57 degrees C for 15 seconds. C. 155 degrees F, 68 degrees C for 15 seconds. D. 145 degrees F, 63 degrees C for 15 seconds. Answer A. Question 20. When can a food handler with a sore throat and a fever return to work with a round food? A. The fever is gone for 24 hours. B. No symptoms are experienced for 24 hours. C. A written medical release is provided. D. The sore throat is gone. Answer C. Question 21. When should a shipment of fresh chicken be rejected? A. The flesh of the chicken appears moist. B. The flesh of the chicken is firm and springs back when touched. C. The receiving temperature is 50 degrees F, 10 degrees C. D. Shell stock identification tags are not attached to the container. Answer C. Question 22. Food held at 41 degrees F, 5 degrees C or lower before being removed from refrigeration can be held without temperature control for up to how many hours? A. 6 B. 8 C. 2 D. 4 Answer A. Question 23. TCS food reheated for hot holding must reach what temperature? A. 145 degrees F, 63 degrees C for 15 seconds. B. 165 degrees F, 74 degrees C for 15 seconds. C. 135 degrees F, 57 degrees C for 15 seconds. D. 155 degrees F, 68 degrees C for 15 seconds. Answer B. Question 24. Where should ground fish be stored in a cooler? A. Above ready to eat food. B. Below pork roast. C. Below ground poultry. D. Above shellfish. Answer B. Question 25. What organization requires material safety data sheets? A. Food and Drug Administration. B. National Restaurant Association. C. Occupational Safety and Health Administration. D. Environmental Protection Agency. Answer C. Thank you for watching.